Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Scribble Dots on Mass Gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy this, and if you do, please subscribe. Let's begin. What makes a hero? Is it power? Is it speed? Is it facing your fear? Are heroes born out of a sense of duty? Can a hero be constructed? Or, as I have seen far too often, are they born out of tragedy? I've seen my share of heroes, young men and women who stand up for what's right, facing down impossible odds in the name of justice. This is the story of one such young man who would hold the fate of a world in his hands. Maxwell was, in many respects, very much like any other boy. He loved to play. He sometimes got into trouble, but he always tried to do the right thing. And like many other children, Maxwell loved comic books. Maxwell's sister, Lily, also loved comic books. They disagreed, as siblings often do, over which of their favorite heroes was the best. Maxwell decided then that the only way to find out which hero was better would be to find out in person. For you see, Maxwell and Lily were no ordinary children. Maxwell could create any object by writing it in his notebook. And Lily had a globe that let her travel anywhere she wanted. here, to my world. And here, Maxwell would learn what it takes to be a hero. Maxwell would have to come face to face with his own dark side. Alright, Gotham City. There's Batman. All right. I guess we start with Batman as a superhero. There's Maxwell, and he's gone again. What the heck? All right. There's Lily with a broken globe and some stars flying out. Lily, Lily, I'm over here. My leg really hurts. Hold on, Lily. I'm coming. Let's move over, to Lily. Oh. BAM! Kaboom! And mice comes out, I don't know why. Use your notebook, I need a doctor. Bleem! Oop! Okay. Uh, let's see, uh, I'm rainbow, giant, mutant, zombie, doctor. Cause I'm so original and awesome. <laughs> Alright. Alright, now he's healed. And oh my god, I'm I'm a zombie already. Scroll you away. Are you okay now? Yes, thanks, Maxwell. Did you see all the stars fly away? I did. We're gonna need to. You. You think you can run around causing chaos? Not in my city. Wait, Mr. Fat Man. We're good guys just like you. Someone matching this description has been assisting the Joker. Someone who can make anything appear out of thin air. I don't take chances. I'm Batman. Target apart, moving in. Dead shot, dead shot. Beat it, kids. I'm here to fulfill my contract. Maxwell, quick. Dead shot is one of the world's deadliest assassins. Use your notebook to modify Batman with an adjective. Pick something that will give him an upper hand. All right. Let's make him... Got that. Got that. Ah, uh, let's be lame and just use powerful. Oh. Uh, because I'm lame and unoriginal. Contrary to what I just said. Oh, yeah. For a flashback. Gotta wait for now. Listen. How do I know you're not involved in all those chaos? I only use my magic notebook for good. I learned a lesson. 
a long time ago. You did just save me. Tell me your names. I'm Maxwell. And this is my twin sister, Lily. And he's questioned about the ball. Oh, the globe. Is that- is this yours? What is it? It's my globe. It lets us travel wherever we want to. But it's broken now. And <laughs> they're all- they're both zombies now. My dad is totally going to turn me to home again. What? <laughs> it's powered by something called Starlight. But when we fell, they all fell throughout. We need to track them down and get back home. If those stars fall into the wrong hands, this world could be in a lot of danger. We should take the globe back to the back cave. We can try to repair it there. However, Gotham is still in danger. Leave Gotham for me. I can help find out who's responsible the responsible for this. <laughs> if these stars are as dangerous as you say they are, then tracking them down is already won. That you're gonna need my help to find those stars again, Batman. Hmm. Fine. And I don't know what to do. Maxwell, take this bat communicator so we can stay in contact. Maxwell, please be careful. Of course, Lily. So can I <laughs> fan? What a fan. And there's zombies again. Alright. There is Commissioner Gordon. I wonder if he needs anything. It's so slow, I don't know why. Just make it fast. And God damn, I don't want to undead fast. Yeah. I saw that you were used for that, man. Your powers are incredible. Do you think you can pick my vehicle car? Vehicle car, police car. <laughs> All right. All right. He needs um wrench. I think. We you have it. I don't think it's working. Go. Yes, I'm gonna fix it. I'm the mechanic. Mechanic Maxwell. Maxwell, can you hear me? I'm calling you from the Batmobile. How cool is that? Listen, Batman wanted me to tell you that every superhero needs a good reputation. That means more good deeds for you, too. Like helping fix Commissioner Gordon's car, the more reputation points you get. However, there are specific words which, if used to help others or to fight crime, will result in gaining less reputation for that situation. Also, using a word in the same area will result in only getting half the rep normally received. Alright, this is like info. Alright, screw this. Alright. Bye! And I don't know what he said. Whatever. Alright, let's go up! Right, let's go up. So, Commissioner Gordon said he's trusting you to transport Victor something something. I don't know how to pronounce that. Really? Well, I'm not one to question my boss's authority. Go for it. Bring something something. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Through, <laughs> through the door on the right. An officer is waiting to take him to Arkham Asylum. Or something. I don't know. Asshole. Arkham Asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Hey Maxwell, to deliver something something. Sir. Sass. The sass, I don't know. You can try adding adjectives like portable, tiny, or rideable to him. Or you can try pulling him using a rope. There are many different ways to handle the situation. Just try using your imagination. I am going to lame again, and I don't know. Horrible. Because they told me to do it, so I'm gonna do it, and I'm a good boy, so yeah. Heh <laughs> Oh, Ari 2, where's Ari 2? Ari 2? Ari 2 is up there. Click on Maxwell icon. This one. Let's go back. And let's go upstairs. I mean, elevator, and throw it to him. Oh, what the heck? He's got a knife all along. Quick, use your notebook to create a weapon to attack Sass. By the way, anything you attack will have a durability. Each time you successfully attack, every time it's the first time you durability lost, durability lost. I'll get some more instructions for this. Weapon! Weapon of choice! A, I don't know, a sharp... Glowing banana. Because I'm so awesome. Alright, let's go attack him. Oh, oh wait, what the heck? I don't, I don't want to throw it. Back up. It's like a boomerang. That's a bat meringue, but it's a banana. Gotcha. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it's just attacking on its own. Oh my god, don't hit me. Okay, let's see. A little sharp. Oh, I know. 
control blade because I am awesome. It's an apple blade. Die! Is he dead? Yes! Good work, Maxwell. Police reports are coming out of a suspicious clown car as seen near the Monarch Theater. You're serious about helping Gotham? You can either start cleaning up the mess. Wait, no, I'm just. <laughs> just a mess. <laughs> Clean up the streets right now and help everyone around you, or focus on finding that clown car. I'll leave it up to you. Good luck, Maxwell. And that is it, guys. That's all the time we have for episode 1 or part 1 of Scribble Knots and Mass Gameplay. If you liked it, subscribe for more. Just like, share, or do whatever you want. I don't care. Alright? See ya.